got a range of workshops, including the one we've just performed today, which is the stereotype game. Now, we've got a range of them, which are actually um, tailored and catered for what's actually going on in the present and in the community. We've also deal with the aftermath of crime, which we've also got another workshop, which is the um, aftermath. And what it is, it's a shoebox and it's got like a passport in it, a ticket to Australia, a game show, and um, a letter inviting um, a mother over for a wedding. Now, what it is is that the young people are put into groups and given the box and they've got to decide together what these things these have to do with the aftermath of crime. <laughs> Can change your life. In a positive way? Yeah. Those who've got criminal records, those who found themselves that they can't get in jobs, found themselves that their life is being blocked, they should be the people involved in trying to educate young people because they've, 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 they've experienced it. Let me tell you something now. Every person that comes out of there will say it's all right, but it's a mental. They won't admit it. Your friend that comes out is not going to admit to you that he was crying for his mum. I'm telling you that. You're not going to admit it. It's a lonely place and you're locked up sometimes. I was locked up 23 hours a day. Obviously, at times, you know what I mean? And it's a lonely, lonely place. So, obviously, that's why I'm so honest because really and truly people need to know that that's not the right way. The right way is a positive way. Do you know what I mean? To do the right thing and to have a full quality life.